Hello AACPS staff and welcome to a Minecraft education video on using the book and quill tool in Minecraft for student reflection journals. And specifically what we're going to talk about in this video is how you can customize that book and quill, meaning adding like your prompts that you want the students to respond to as a part of their reflection journal and then distributing that to the students. So we're going to do that here in one of our individual build area worlds here where every student gets their own space to build because this is the type of world that you would use for hosting. So first let's talk a little bit about the book and quill. It is in the inventory for all users. So if I open up my inventory and I type in the word book, you will find the book and quill right here. So students could certainly be directed to go to their own inventory and grab the book and quill and pull that out. And then once you place it in your inventory, inventory we can see in mine it's down here in my hotbar slot number three once I right click I can open up my book and quill and you can see that I just have page after page here where I can write my own ideas and thoughts. So as the teacher, you could certainly put your question prompts up on the board. You could have them in a separate document and then the students would be able to open the book and quill and respond to question prompt number one on page one, page two, and so on moving through the book. But what if you wanted to include the question prompts right here in the book for the students? Well, it begins by getting a book and quill out of your inventory, as we've done there, and then we're going to add those question prompts to the top of each page. Starting with just asking the students to think about what was their favorite thing about this project. Now I could include my next question on page two, but I want to be mindful of how much space my students are going to need to respond to that question prompt. If I think they might only answer it in one or two sentences, they probably have plenty of space on page one. If I think they might add more like a paragraph or two, or I really want to encourage that, I might want to jump to page three before I add my next question prompt. Okay, and then I'm just going to go to page five and I'm just going to add one more question prompt here. Okay, so I have given them a total of three prompts with six pages for them to respond to this. So I'm going to close this book and it's now sitting down here in my inventory. Again, it's in my hotbar slot number three. And the way that I'm going to distribute this to the students is I'm going to put it in a chest and then I'm gonna copy the chest. So let's go into one of our build spaces here and let's see the procedure for doing that. Okay, so here we've entered into one of our student build spaces and you can see I've already got a chest here and that holds a book and quill for them. So I'm just gonna move over a little bit and I'm gonna place another chest next to it. My chest is currently in my hotbar slot number two. So I'm gonna navigate to number two and then I'm gonna right click to place that chest. But right now, this chest is empty. There's nothing in it. What we see in the bottom half that says inventory, that's the things that I'm carrying. The chest itself is empty. So we want to take the book and quill that we've customized and we want to drag that up into the chest and drop it right there in slot number one. That's great. Now we have a chest that has an item in it, but the act of placing that book and quill in the chest means it's no longer in my hotbar. It's not in my inventory anymore. So the way that I'm going to make a copy of that book and quill is to copy the entire chest that contains the book and quill. So I'm going to hold down control and then I'm going to push in on the center scroll wheel on my mouse. So I held down control and then I clicked down on the center scroll wheel. We're not rolling the wheel forward or backward. We're just clicking it straight down. And what I've done now is I've made a copy of the chest. And if I move over just a little bit and I right click again, you'll see I place another chest, but this one also contains the customized book and quill. So as long as I stay selected on my hotbar item number three, that is the chest that has the book and quill in it. If I place hotbar item number two, all I'm placing is an empty chest. 
there's no book and quill in there. So the one that I copied from my inventory is what is now in slot number three. I can navigate around this world and go into all of the individual build rooms and place a chest right next to the button that allows the students to exit out of their build space with that customized book and quill in there. And then I just need to give them instructions to go get their reflection journal and fill it out when they are finished with their project and they can place it right back in the chest so that when I come to their build space to look at their project, I can also open their chest, pull out their reflection journal and see what they learned, what they thought, what they struggled with and how they were overcame those struggles as a part of this project. So I hope this video has helped you understand how you can use the book and quill to have students reflect on their project right here inside of Minecraft instead of using a third party or external application.